Hello, hello, welcome to the video where I will be answering the top Google searches about Native Americans. So I got the idea to do this video a while ago from the videos of famous people answering top Google searches about themselves. So it's basically like that, but instead I'm going to be answering the top Google searches about Native Americans in general. My name is John Dean and I am a full Navajo and what I did was searched up on Google question terms about Native Americans so what, how, did, do, has, all of those types of questions and I'm just going to quickly put up the Google image that I got every single time that I put in a question term for Native Americans. Now I'm going to answer them one by one and you'll see the actual question right here, and then of course I'll answer it. First question is, what is a Native American? Um, that's pretty general. A Native American is an indigenous person who lived and took care of the land, which is now the United States, before Columbus came. Y'all know how that turned out. What is a Native American talking stick? So I've never, I've never personally used this before, but a talking stick is passed around during sacred meetings or anything like that, which basically just um, allows everyone to share their sacred beliefs or their sacred point of views, anything like that. What is a Native American reservation? A Native American reservation is a piece of land throughout the United States that have um, tribal sovereignty, meaning the Native Americans that inhabit that reservation has their own laws, their own government, things like that. And they were originally created by, of course, the United States government in order to control Native Americans and take away their land for their own purposes. There are still very many reservations throughout the United States to this day. And one of the largest reservations throughout the United States actually happens to be my tribe, which is Navajo. What is a Native American powwow? A powwow is a gathering of indigenous people where there are um, traditional dances. There's also merchants selling their jewelry, clothing, whatever it is. They're selling those traditional items. There's traditional food being sold. And again, it's just really gathering of indigenous people, celebrating our culture and being with each other. What is a Native American girl called? I didn't really understand this question because there are lots of tribes and each tribe has their own language therefore a little native american girl could be called multiple things because each language is different just for an example um i have a aunt that is half hopi and half navajo which are two different tribes and um we call her mano because in her hopi language that means little girl so i guess that would be a word what is a native american tribe a Native American tribe is a specific group of Native Americans. Each usually inhabit a different um, piece of land or a different piece of area throughout the United States. It's just a collective group of Native Americans that share the same clans. What is a Native American shaman? Another word that can be used for a shaman would be like a medicine man or like a healer. Basically, they are a very spirit spiritual person that the community can go to for healing, advice, rituals, anything like that, because they have a very specific connection to spirits that the community can utilize. What is a Native American Indian dog? When I first saw this question, I thought of instantly what we call a res dog. It's just dogs that are randomly running around throughout the reservation. But I actually looked into this question because like I said, I didn't recognize what a Native American Indian dog was specifically. And it's actually a breed, the more you know. What is a Native American longhouse? A Native American longhouse is a specific type of structure for a house, um, of course, it's very long. It was made specifically for um, families or large groups rather than um, a home for a single family. What is a Native American name? Again, with this question, I'm not 100% sure what it's kind of entailing. I think maybe responding to like an, like an Indian name. You no, know, I've heard some people and I've seen in movies where people are given Indian names like maybe Little Feather or something like that. I'm really not sure. I think maybe that's where they were, what they were getting at. In realistic terms, um, a Native American name 
really could just be derived from the tribe's language. For example, my name is Shandine in Navajo that means sunshine. So... Has a Native American ever won an Oscar? And the answer is yes. Actually, for the first time um, last year in 2019, West Duty was the first Native American to win an Oscar. So... Has a Native American ever ran for president or been president? And the answer is yes and no. There is actually currently a Native American running for presidency. His name is Mark Charles. He's actually a Native American that, that served as vice president, but not president. But there has never actually been a president. Now, with tribes that have sovereignty and that have our own governments, we do have our own presidents. So there is a Navajo president that we have in addition to the United States president. Has a Native American ever been in Congress? Yes, there have been multiple, um, but another great accomplishment of last year is there were two Native American women by the names of Deb Holland and Cherise Davis, and they were actually elected to Congress last year. They are the first Native American woman to be elected in. Now, looking at those questions and the answers, those are some pretty big accomplishments for Native American people and women as well in 2019. It's great that diversity is expanding and hopefully it just gets better. Did Native Americans have dogs, horses, and cats? Native Americans did have horses and dogs, um, but cats, an interesting question, but no. As far as household cats, you know, that you have for pets is not something that Native Americans had. Did Native Americans have the wheel? As far as using wheels for traveling and like automotives, no. Did Native Americans have tattoos? Yes, Native Americans did have tattoos and they were generally perceived to be um, spiritual. Did Native Americans have metal? Yes, but the types and techniques are a whole different conversation. Did Native Americans farm? Yes, things like corn, squash, things like that. But Native Americans were actually typically hunters and gatherers, but there was some farming. Did Native Americans have written language? So no, um, Native Americans, um, again, each tribe typically has their own language. And oral is very big for lots of tribes. Like my tribe, Navajo, we are very um, oral people, so we like to tell stories. But actually writing down the language was not something that came until later. Did Native Americans have facial hair and shave? Yes, Native Americans did and do have facial hair. Not a lot, which still holds true to this day. But when there was facial hair to shave, we did shave it. Do Native Americans celebrate Thanksgiving and Christmas? Of course, I can't speak for all Native Americans, but yes, we do. We do celebrate Thanksgiving and Christmas. And um, honestly, I think it's something that is kind of just overlooked. Of course, it was introduced to us during colonization. It was an introduction to Christianity and different religions. Again, I think it's something that we overlook to this day. Um, I definitely don't mind, you know, coming together with family and celebrating a holiday, but I think in general, we just overlook the purpose of that day. And if you're Native American and you do celebrate and you have no problem with it, then you have no problem with it. That's fine. Do Native Americans vote? Yes, we do. There are a few issues around Native American voting, such as not a lot of us are voting, not as much as there should be. and. There are some issues with if you live on a reservation um, and you don't have a certain type of address, then you don't get counted. Those types of issues that still need to get worked on. But in general, yes, we do vote. Do Native Americans pay taxes? Yes, we do. We pay for the federal taxes and within our own government, they choose how much taxes that we pay within. But yes, we do still pay taxes, sadly. Do Native Americans have body hair and or go bald? Yes, of course, Native Americans have body hair, just regular people. I don't think it's a crazy idea for a Native American to go bald, but you just don't see it that often. More of the times you'll see a Native American with long hair. Do Native Americans get free college? No, no. It's a huge misconception. Just because we are Native American, we do not get free college. We still have to apply for scholarships and grants and loans, just like everybody else. 
This question again is a little bit strange. I don't know who's gonna benefit from this answer, but do Native American dogs shed? I had to look into this one as well. Native American Indian dogs shed once a year in the spring and they are also hypoallergic. Again, I don't know who's gonna benefit from that, but there's your answer. <laughs> How to receive money for being Native American. I just want to point out first that not all tribes or all Native Americans get money. For example, I'm Navajo, I get any type of money for being Native American, but how you can find out if you are eligible for any Native American funds is you have to enroll first in your federally recognized tribe, and then from there you can see if that tribe is eligible for any money. Next question is kind of the same thing, how to apply for Native American benefits. You would go through the same way, and it's also the same thing, not all tribes get benefits, and even some tribes that do end up getting benefits don't always get the full benefits. How many tribes are there? There are 573 federally recognized tribes. How much of the United States population is Native American? So right now, the number is 6 million, which is about 2% of the total United States population. Of that 6 million, 2 million are Native Americans who are um, full-blood Native Americans. They're not anything else. And the remaining 4 million have part Native American in them. How to test for Native American DNA? Um, you really just take a DNA test. How much Native American DNA do you need to have to be eligible for Native American scholarships? The general acceptance of being Native American for scholarships is at least a quarter or half. How to do Native American beadwork? That might be like for people who are trying to learn. So that's honestly something that you would just have to watch videos for because I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and teach you how to do that. I don't even know how to do that. How to do a Native American greeting. This is very broad because each tribe has their own language. And of course, there's not a universal language for Native Americans. So there's not a universal greeting that you can use. How to do it, you just speak in the language. How has Native American culture influenced the United States? In so many ways, I can't count them all. This video would be a lot longer. Just quickly recapping, um, you go back all the way to the Columbus days. Native Americans were the one to teach and share about the land. The Native American culture really highlights the importance of taking care of the earth. The culture itself is widely celebrated and even used or available for others. And there's a lot of things that Native American culture has done for the United States, um, but in a way to kind of wrap that question up and wrap this video up at the same time is that I want to include that Native Americans and our culture and our traditions, we are very resilient. Even though we have had a lot of struggles as a people and as a community and as a culture, we are still here and we are going to continue along with our ancestors. So those were the top Google searches um, regarding Native Americans. Of course, I cannot speak for the entirety of Native Americans, but these are my responses. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.